family history of heart attacks, strokes, migraines, IBS, and depression. So do I! Yup, that MTHFR C677T is one bad I remember when I first found out I had MTHFR C677T homozygous. Which, if you remember from our last lesson, homozygous means having two mutated alleles. I was devastated, but also elated, because one of the missing pieces to my family's chronic disease puzzle had finally fallen into place. And for a lot of people with unexplained and chronic health problems, MTHFR is often part of the story. MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, an enzyme responsible for the process of methylation that occurs in every cell of your body. Methylation is responsible for DNA repair, neurotransmitter production, healthy immune system function, and detoxification. When your body isn't methylating well, inflammation occurs and toxins build up in your body, including heavy metals. So what's a girl to do? Here's my top 10 tips for living with MTHFR that helped me recover. 1. Get genotyped. You have several options, 23andMe, Ancestry, and Genes for Good is free. If you've already been genotyped, you can go to app.getallele.com to find out if you have MTHFR or any other genes that might be harming your health. 2. Get off any fully depleting drugs, such as birth control, methotrexate, Prilosec, Prevacid, Tums, and other antacids. 3. Remove your mercury fillings. These are the fillings that look like silver in your mouth. It's really important to have a trained biologic dentist remove them to get any traces of mercury out of your system. 4. Measure your homocysteine. If your homocysteine is elevated, you probably need more B12 and folate in your diet. 5. Eat a healthy organic diet and limit your processed foods. Added preservatives and chemicals act as toxins in the body, and thanks to MTHFR, you can't get rid of them. 6. Don't cook with aluminum pans or non-stick cookware. Try ceramic instead with a little bit of coconut oil. 7. Detox. I've turned my detoxing time into my me time, and I'm so glad I did. I love my Epsom salt baths, my saunas, going to the gym and exercising. Just make sure that you sweat, because that's how you release toxins from your body. 8. Supplement. When you first start supplementing with methyl B12 and methyl folate, be sure to take it slow. Remember, your body isn't used to having high levels of methyl folate and B12. In fact, it's used to operating on a deficiency, so give it time to adjust. TMG, vitamin C, D, E, fish oil, turmeric, and probiotics are also helpful. Expect some uncomfortable detoxing, then increased energy and vitality. 9. Eat organic eggs. Eggs are rich in choline, an essential nutrient that your body needs, and many people with MTHFR become deficient in. 10. Reduce your body's toxic burden by using non-toxic detergent and cleaning supplies. Over time, I got a lot healthier from following these tips, and so will you. As always, remember that having a mutation does not necessarily mean that you will develop any disease and is not a diagnosis. Take control of your health, empower yourself, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys next week.